Hi there, Jeff here. Let's look at the diagram that you might use when you want to show a firm that is aiming to achieve an output which maximizes the profit it makes. Now, profit maximization happens when a business finds a price and an output where the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. In other words, the next unit produced, sold, adds as much to revenue as it does to cost. Total profit the difference between total revenue and total cost is maximised when the marginal profit is zero. So let's just work through the diagram together. Here's a downward sloping demand curve, average revenue curve, with marginal revenue falling below it, as uh, you will have covered in your theory of the firm. The simple impose some cost curves on have shown marginal cost and average cost, with marginal cutting the average cost at the minimum of the AC curve. Now, there's a break-even output here where average revenue and average cost intersect. Firm covers its cost there. And there's another break-even output further down, again, where average cost and average revenue meet. At those two points, the firm is uh, covering their costs, just making normal profit. Any output in between, they're making a profit, but we're looking for the highest profit. And that occurs at an output where marginal cost equals marginal revenue, which is here. Let's call that Q1. It's the intersection between marginal cost and marginal revenue. Let's draw up to the demand curve and then draw across because that's the price the firm can charge. That's what consumers are willing and able to pay for that output. There's the price per unit P1. We just need to show also the cost per unit AC1, which is there. And uh, that gap between price and cost is the profit margin, the profit per unit, sorry, uh, multiplied by output. And so this shaded area, green, is the total profit. The total profit is shown by the green shaded area. Just putting some numbers on here, let's assume the price you're charging is £200, but the cost per unit is, so it should be £80, we just change that, £80, okay? So you're charging £200, but the cost per unit is only £80, a producing output of 50. Uh, therefore, the price per unit is going to be 200 minus 80 times by 50 units. So you're making £120 profit per unit multiplied by 50 units sold, giving a total profit of £6,000. That's the highest profit you can make with those revenue and cost curves. Now, key to understanding profit maximization is the idea of marginal profit the cost the cost of the next unit compared to the revenue from selling the next unit and if marginal profit is positive then producing and selling an extra unit will add more to revenue for the firm than it does to the cost thus total profit will rise but if marginal cost is greater than marginal revenue then marginal profit becomes negative and profits start falling. Go back to our diagram here. I'll just make that £80. Pounds. So here you can see, for example, that uh, beyond the output of 50, marginal cost is bigger than marginal revenue. And therefore, any extra unit sold beyond 50 would cause the total profit of the business to fall. So profit maximization, where marginal cost equals marginal revenue, and oftentimes you'll get some numerical examples to think about and hopefully be able to, to do those. Okay, thanks for listening. Take care, stay safe, stay happy, and uh, see you sometime soon.